So what we're going to do now guys is we're now going to start setting up all the hips. We've got the 45 degree line through there. This is our hip thickness and we're going to put that on there halfway, halfway there and there. And then that should sort of marry up just about through there. Cut that off down there so then that hip's going to bird's mouth over that plate. Now the one thing you've got to remember guys is obviously now when that hip sits in it's changed the actual point reference so it's really important when you throw your hip and do your measurement you need to make sure the plumb cut of the hip now we know the hip is 30 degree in it the hip's 30 degree. so basically the plumb cut of the hip a 30 degree when it comes up so you need to make sure that measurement from there to there is exactly the same on your hip cut if it's not your hip's not going to line through with all your jacks 135 mil mate 30 degrees on the chop saw. Yep. Then I'm going to lay the saw over on yep. 45. So as we've got the 30 degrees off of the chart, I've set the square to 30 degrees, and then I'm going to mark 135 mil down this plum cup. That is the height above plate that we discussed earlier. Now I can put the square there and slide this down until it hits our 135mm line there. And now the square's set up, ready for our hip bird's mouth. The way I always set uh, hips out and the same as Dan is basically we'll go from the longest point of the hip. So let's have a look over there. I'm at the longest point here, Tony. And what we're going to do is I'll pivot it slightly lower. So the measurement I need is two, four, three, five. Now what I'll do is I'll actually mark it like this. You see what I'm doing? I'm doing a bit of an arc, you see it like that? What I'll do is I'll get down the square now. I need to make sure that arc there falls right into the corner of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide it along here now. I need to make sure this corner here is into this arc that I've done. Look, you see, there you go. How spot is that? So that arc where I've just done it, mark it like that. And that's why I like the squares because Obviously, it's a lot easier than to mark everything out with the speed squares. It'll be a lot more difficult with the speed square. You'd really struggle trying to throw that through, wouldn't you, really, Dan? It's a big um, it's bird's a, mouth It's to a mark big bird's out. mouth, this is. So that's all going to come out now there like that. OK, guys? Measure 70 mil down here. That's our plate thickness. Nice and tight there, just fitting it beautifully here now. It's absolutely spot on, so. When the string line hits this point here, it should, then should just touch that rafter over there, okay guys? So here we go, we're getting closer and closer and closer. There you go, boom. Look at that, spot on mate, beautiful. So what we're gonna do now, we're just gonna throw the other hip in. Dan, let's have her up, see what she's got. Beautiful. That's lovely, mate. Happy with that. So guys, let's have a bit of a recap. We literally started off by marking out all of the wall plate. We then put all the straps on, went straight into then cutting all of the king commons. Now, if you remember, we've got one king common here, another one at the back here and here. Now, it's really important that when you set the king commons, we cut then two further standard common rafters over there. Once we've done that, then we got the ridge. We put a 90 degree stroke, 45 degree cut on the ridge and then we then just lifted the ridge up and then you notice in the video that the two king commons and as soon as you pull it up it sort of locks itself in quite nicely and then all you've got to do is just touch and tap it until you get to the right location you can see the ridge is lovely and straight once you've got that in everything then gets fixed to that okay 
And then what you then do is you then put the third king coming in to make sure that it plums everything all up for you. Once you've done that, you can then start to throw your hips in. We put this hip in first, we went through that. We then threw this hip in. And then tomorrow, what we're gonna be doing is that we're gonna be working on the lay boards over here and on that side and on this side. And then from that, we're gonna then start throwing all of the jacks from both sides, all the jacks down here and down here. We'll throw the rest of the commons in through here, rest of the commons through there. And then we're gonna put the jacks on that side and the jacks on that side onto the lay boards. I hope you've enjoyed today. Take care, guys.